Welcome everybody to Embrace the Suck, our uh, private Facebook group for Elevate OCR. Today is uh, Workout Wednesdays, so five minute workouts you can do anywhere, anytime. Again here, the key is consistency. That's what we're going for. So uh, if you remember last week, we start with our stretches. It's about a minute or two of stretches every day. This is just to build pliability, increase flexibility, I won't go through them all, but you've got arm stretches, you've got your overhead stretches here, you've got your shoulder stretches, you've got your neck stretches. Again, you're going to be active, you're going to be working out. This is just about decreasing the chances of injury when you work out, when you run, you're keeping those muscles stretched out, you're keeping oxygen in those muscles. This is something you do every day, take two or three minutes, it's important. Uh, we work on the legs here. You've got your, your leg stretch here. It's also working on balance, core engagement. This is warming up those tendons in the ankles, which is important. Something that's hard to work out. Always good to work on your balance. Helps with athleticism. Uh, and then you've got your last stretch here. Just elongating those hamstrings, stretching them out, making them longer. A lot of hamstring injuries. So last week we talked about push-ups and we talked about some sort of an ab work, crunches, Russian twists, sit-ups. So that's usually what you want to do in these five minutes. So you could do straight push-ups. We talked about starting with 10, going to 20, going to 30, going to 40. If you're modifying it now, try to do five regular and five modified. Next time try to do six regular, four, and build up so you can do all 10 modified, right? So if you're not just wanting to do straight push-ups, a couple variations you can do. So you've got your straight push-up here, which is arms straight under your shoulder blades. You're coming all the way down, right to about where your chin touches, and then all the way back up. So if you want to modify that, one way you can do, go out wide. So go out another foot wider on each, it's a different set of muscles, a different position. Come down, straight back up. Other thing you can do is come in close. Make a triangle with your hands. Touch those hands together, then come down, back up. Another thing you can do is alternate these. So like a Superman, Spider-Man push-up. One hand is back, one hand is forward. Come down one way, switch those hands, come down the other way. So different ways you can mix up these push-ups that you're doing every day. Now on your ab work, I usually like to do some combination where feet are up, make a nice fist here, drive that fist all the way to the edge, come back here, just work that out. Again, start with 10, go to 20, go to 30. If you're gonna do sit-ups, make sure your form is right. You've got your feet flat on the ground here, back flat on the ground, hands on the chest. You want to keep those hands here. You don't want to push those hands out. You want to have hands staying on the chest and make sure abs do, your abs do all the work. So keep those hands in, no swinging of the arms. If you can only do three or four, do three or four, work it up. Go from three to five, come from five to eight, eight to 10. But form is important on that ad work. So that's it for me. Embrace the suck. Have a nice day.